Hello, hello and welcome to ESPN Quick Info. Come into my parlour with me, Anu Menon, where every week we talk to some of our favourite cricketers. We like to have them on the back foot while we bowl our verbal googlies at them. So, who's our guest going to be today? Uh, just until recently, he was one of the fastest bowlers in the world. He's played all three formats, uh, over 200 T20 wickets. He's an overseas citizen of India. He's married to the most gorgeous Indian woman. And he's been here so long, he might as well apply for an Aadhaar card. <laughs> I'm talking about Sean Tate. Sean, how are you? I'm good. Very yeah? good. Thank you very much. How nervous are you? Fairly nervous. Yeah, I can't see any exit doors around here to get out, so I'm just going to have to bear with it. All right, so your first round is the blunt cut. All right, Sean, so the blunt cut is our version of the rapid fire. I'm presuming you're good with speed. Well, not so, anymore. Oh, don't <laughs> say so, yeah, that. Don't say that. Okay. Yeah, don't hurt me like this. <laughs> so verbally, rapid, rapid. Okay. You, you don't get more than three seconds to answer. That's probably I'm not going to hold you to it. Okay, question number one. <clears throat> your finest moment off the cricket field. My birth, my daughter, I think. That's right. probably the finest. So, bowling fast, or having a longer career bowling at 130 clicks? No, bowling fast. Ah, well yes. done. Alrighty. <laughs> How often do you Google yourself, Sean? Uh, when I was playing, I used to Google myself um, a lot more often than I do now. I cannot remember the last time I Googled myself. Indian in-laws mm. or Indian food, what's more manageable? Oh, that is <laughs> dead heat. Um, Indian, Indian food is more manageable. Yeah. Of course it is. I hope, yeah. I hope my mother-in-law is not going to see this. Yeah. Now you have to rate my Australian accent, okay? Okay. On a scale of, I don't know, zero to bowling shine. Okay, yeah. sorry. Um, <clears throat> I'm a really deep person. Um, I got a copy of The Alchemist. It changed my life. I decided to leave Melbourne and come to London. Well, that's a New Zealand accent. Oh, for God's sake, so potato, I'm gonna, potato. I'm going to give you a one. Okay. Have you ever been fleeced in India? Are you like good at bargaining or do you get taken for a ride all the time? Um, I, I just give into it nowadays. So you're talking about like if you go on an order. Yeah, yeah. I just give them, I just give them the money and, and obviously the, the language barrier. Um, I can't be bothered bartering, so I'm just like, thanks very much. Take my money. <laughs> an opponent you love meeting outside the cricket field? None, apparently. Well, no, I like, no, because we're, since we're in India, I like to meet, um, I love to meet Ajita Kaka and Zahir Khan. Oh. Those guys uh, have a couple of quiet drinks with those two, yeah. those two buddies. Those are their besties. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. So they, you can't just have one, not the other. That's true. Yeah. So I, I like to catch up with those guys when I'm here. One thing that you simply do not understand about India or Indians. Okay, I, I honestly do not understand the, the, the rush, as in the pushing, the shoving at the airport. Right. That's you know, like on the aeroplane. Yeah get up so quickly, even before the planes land sometimes, That's Indians true. like to get up That's and true. get out. When the doors aren't open, everyone's going to yeah. get out the plane, just calm yourself and, yeah, and wait. True. I can't understand that. Uh, do you ever look in the mirror and say to yourself, gosh, I'm darn good looking? Never. Never. I think okay. maybe when I was single, but certainly not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, well done, for honesty. <laughs> how, how do you think you did in that first round? That was, that was quite tough, actually. Yeah? Um, it? it gets easier. Yeah, it was a bit of fun, so that's all good. Yeah. Lighthearted. Okay, that brings us to the end of the first round, the blunt cut. He did pretty well, didn't he, Sean Tate? Yeah. Should we go on to the next? It's called the makeover. Sean Tate, second round, the makeover. These are all hypothetical situations I'm going to throw okay. at you, and you tell me how you would handle them. I like yeah? this. I like this question. Yeah, simple enough. Question number one. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? You know what, when I was a kid, I really wanted, I, I, I was interested in wolves. Right. We don't have them in Australia. So I always wanted to have a tattoo of a wolf right. on my arm. I don't know why. It's, it means nothing. It's, there's no relevance to it, but right. a wolf tattoo. If you had to pick a title for your autobiography, what would it be? Mm, title. Yeah. I suppose Anything. it'd be like a, a bit of a roller, I'd say it'd be roller coaster. <laughs> Up and down. Yeah. yeah. Could be a lift as well. That'd in that be, case. That'd be, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it'd go either way with that. That's so silly that answer, but anyway, that'll do. Okay. Um, the lift by Sean Tate. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to a store near you. All right. Uh, if you had to pick one English player to be in the Australian side, who would it be? Well, uh, that would have to be um, a current, a, you talking about current English player? Anyone. Anyone. Andrew Flintoff. 
when he yeah. was on it, when he was at yeah. his best. Yeah. yeah. And he's very fit now, but he's looking yeah. really fit. Yeah. Now, if there was one game from the past that you wish you were a part of, which one would it be? You know what? It, my first tour, um, my first Ashes tour, we won the first Test at Lords right. um, in 2005, and I got to celebrate with the team. Which was a great celebration, but I was I was in the squad and not playing, so the celebration wasn't as good. Right. So I, I wish I was in that team that won that first test. Nice. Now, if you had to choose an actor to play Sean Tate, who would it be? Like Hollywood, or like anyone? Um, I would have to say an actor to play my yeah, life. Please say one of the Hemsworths. Well, then he's there. Aussies, aren't they? Chris Hemsworth. But then that's a little bit. He's too good looking. I probably have to go. Maybe Russell Crowe. Oh, for God's sake. He's an Aussie as well. He's like yeah. 65. You yeah. can't get Russell Crowe to play you. Okay, Gerard Butler. I was really hoping for one of them. I was hoping for it, but it's all right. He'll just have to, Chris, we'll just have to make Chris do. Hemsworth, yeah, so we we'll just take... have to make do with Thor now. I know. Yeah, now that you've given him like no importance, <laughs> he doesn't want to play you he needs anymore. To, he, needs to, he needs to do a few more serious roles before he can play me. Now, if you were stranded on, a, on an island, which of these people would you choose to be marooned with? Your physio, your mom-in-law, or Shua Bhakta? Physio. <laughs> I gave him such an easy out today. <laughs> if I had to say, between your mom-in-law and Shua Bhakta. Oh yeah, mother-in-law, I didn't hear that, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure, <laughs> he didn't hear that. All right, yeah. that was the end of that round. Not bad, not bad. How is it? That was, that, I felt that was quite difficult though. All right, that brings us to the end of round two, and now we're going into our final round called The Mirror. All right, Shante, your final round is called The Mirror. I'm going to ask you very deep questions, and you've got to reflect and answer with gravitas. All right, I just used a whole bunch of words. I've got no idea what gravitas <laughs> means. Never mind, uh, we'll Google it. Uh, <laughs> not you, we we'll just Google the word. All right, are you ready? No. The one husband quality you admire in yourself? Protection. Protect. I'm a, I feel like I'm yeah. a protector. Yes. Yeah. Aww. Your biggest ambition after retirement? I mean, biggest ambition would have to be, I just need to do something that I enjoy, because um, it's going to be a long life now to, to, to actually enjoy a job or do something, um, and just make sure my daughter is, is okay. Uh, what is a recurring regret from your cricketing career? I would have to say probably not, um, Probably not pushing myself at that certain time to play maybe more test cricket. No. That okay. would be the only one. Okay. And a piece of advice you would give to your 16 year old self? Ooh, a piece of advice I would give to my 16 year old self would be everything's going to work out in the end, don't worry. Okay. That's, that's so, very Oprah Winfrey of you. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to say. But yay! Sean did! Well done! How, how do you think you did? Um, I don't know, it was okay. I, I, don't, I don't, yeah, that's, I was fairly honest, I think. I think so. I yeah, think so. That's we, all have, you can do. we have nothing to give you for your that's honesty. You no really, present, except, no prize. No, except our love and good wishes. Thank you very much. Okay, but thank you so much for being part of this. And I just want to leave you with a bit of advice. Like my mother always says in Malayalam, but I'll tell you the translation yeah. in English, which is uh, you should never wake up a sleeping man who's hungry and say there's no food. Okay. Yeah, I just. Um, I'm glad that was such a <laughs> grand reaction fantastic. to my mother's, you know, great line there. But see you next time with another uh, of our cricketing friends. Um, and uh, what are you waiting for? We'll just, just pray enough for next week to come quickly. Okay, toodles. <laughs>